Well, I'm not sure how many times I've been to Aston Villa now. I've got a record of it somewhere in my book back home, but I know I've been here a lot of times. And the first few times I came here, undoubtedly would have been on the football special, the old trains that used to bring fans to away games from Piccadilly Station. And, and I remember selling the pies and the sausage rolls and all that sort of stuff. And there being regular clientele on that train. Great, great days back in the 70s and 80s. And there Villa Park, you can just see in the distance, not too far away from here. Uh, one of the big talking points, I think, ahead of this game, whether he plays or not, and I suspect he won't play, is Jack Grealish, an absolute legend here. Uh, £100 million signing for City. Uh, some people say he's not settled in particularly well so far, um, and I, I agree with that. I don't think he has settled in particularly well so far. I wonder what the reaction is of Villa fans tonight, and indeed City fans, if Jack Grealish comes on. So to preempt that, I'm going to ask a few City and Villa fans their thoughts on Jack Grealish ahead of this big game, of course. So you're a Villa fan, what, yep. what, what do you think, what, what did you think of Jack Grealish before he went to City and has it changed since he went? No, he's a great player. Uh, he was the best player in the Villa squad. Uh, he played a massive uh, contribution in the club's success over the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, football career is only a short career, so good luck to the lad. Uh, but he's Villa through and through. I'm sure he'll do a great job at City. Uh, but one day, I'm sure he'll come home to the Villa. So you're very magnanimous, really, and if he plays tonight, will you give him a cheer then? I'll give him a cheer. I'm not sure about the lads, but uh, I'll give him a cheer, definitely. You think your, your lads over there might have a different opinion? Yeah, they may have a different opinion, but, but certainly once the game starts, then we'll be firmly behind the Villa. But uh, no, I think uh, credit, credit to Jack. He deserves a good round of applause for all he's done for Villa. And, uh, you know, uh, he was proud to wear the claret and blue. And I'm sure, um, you know, the City fans love being entertained by him as well. I think that Jack Grealish was a good player when he was at Villa. But I don't think that he was worth 100 million to City. Um, and that, I think that was a bad move. And that I don't want to see him play tonight. So you're going to be the opposite then of... Oh, we yeah. just heard you're not going to be cheering him, you're going to be booing him or something, are Yeah, you? I'm going to be booing him. I've never really liked him because of his attitude, um, on off the pitch mainly as well. Um, so I was kind of glad that he was gone because we got the 100 million for him. I think the team performs better without him, so we're not always looking for him, um, getting on the ball and stuff like that. I think it's opened us up to a lot more opportunities. So I'm glad he's gone, got the 100 million. I think a lot of people are bit bitter about the way they left. I agree. Um, I don't think I'm as bitter as some because I never liked him anyway, so I'm just glad to see him gone. If he comes back and people boo, I might join in. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm easy. Either either way. So tell me what you're thinking about tonight's game. Uh, I mean, obviously, Jack Grealish may or may not play, but he's a big talking point, isn't he? It'd be nice if he did come on. Uh, I think Pep should let him come on and uh, show what he's made of. But... Uh, we were just talking before that it was two years ago, two seasons ago that we came here, uh, where we did an interview. I did an interview with yourself, and uh, I think we won six-one. Was it? We've had some good wins here, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah I think we were six-one. Yeah, so he's claiming to be the lucky mascot then. All the people here that I'm with, every single person supports Villa. So, <laughs> so you want Jack Grealish to come on and City to win six-one, basically? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think of the current right back by the way Kyle Walker yeah magic he's doing brilliant yeah I like his hair actually <laughs> you still got <laughs> yours new hair yeah look <laughs> full head of hair <laughs> enjoy the game cheers as a Villa fan then yep what are your views on Jack Grealish I think he's a great player and I think he was a great player for us so yeah the fact he's gone to City now you're just glad for him are you happy for him that he's yeah I, I, look, obviously I wanted him to stay um, but I'm more than happy that he's moved on and hopefully he'll achieve what he can achieve um, and then come back to Villa as soon as he can. So what you're saying is he's really still got Villa at heart? Of course he has, yeah. He's a Villa fan, why not? Who got the best out of the deal then, City or Villa? When... Oh, that's a tough one. I'd say at the moment Villa, because I'm not sure he's playing as well as he could play. He's not playing as well as I think I've seen him play for Villa. How would you feel if he came on as a substitute, for example, today and scored the winner? Um, yeah, more than happy, but the winner will be an own goal for Villa, so it'll be good. <laughs> How do you feel then as a City fan about the fact that Grealish has come for such a big amount and at the moment a lot of people are saying he's not quite fulfilling his potential? Well, I think when you've got talent like 
like Grealish, I mean, you have to pay uh, top money for him. But also, the way I look at it, because I'm, I like to think I'm a fair-minded fan, you know, that's good money for Villa. Um, and he talks about he's not playing as well at City. I mean, he was everything to them. Whereas we've got Foden and De Bruyne, you know, Mares and Silva, and we've got so many, he can do the rotation. But uh, it's, you know, without being you know, xenophobic, it's, it's good to have a British player playing for us as well. Um, the only thing I'm not too keen on is the Alice band, but other than that, I can pull up with him. I think he's tremendous, but I'm good friends with Chris as a Villa fan, and um, you know I've always liked him. I've come here with him a couple of times, never seen him win, um, but uh, I just think he's a terrific player. So you're obviously a Tyrone Mings fan. Were you a Jack Grealish fan before he went to Manchester City? Big one. Big one. What do you think of him now? Were you, are you sad to see him go? Or? Despise him. Don't like him. You don't like him? Nah. So since he's gone to City, he, he beat a sign a year ago. It's gone now, it's in the bin. It's gone. In the bin, hiding. What if he scores the winner today? Punch him in the face. All I can feel. You think Villa can win this game? Definitely. We've got what it takes. My thought is <laughs> against him as he is. Obviously, I didn't want to see him go. But uh, you can't really not go, can you? 100 million. He's done all he could for it. I think he took us to uh, our limit. And I'll be clapping him if he does get on the pitch tonight. I think he will get a few boos, but I won't be one of them. I think it was a great signing. Uh, I think he struggled uh, to fit in with the Pep way, but I think most footballers that come to our club struggle for a season or so anyway. I said, so I've said to the lads, next season's the season for Grealish. Uh, and in the, in the way of him returning tonight, if he plays or not, uh, I'd be very surprised if the Villa fans boo him, if they do, they're not football fans for me because he brought a lot to this football club for them and he brought £100 million in to help the club move forward. So for me, you know, we would never do that as City, we don't do that to our ex-players. So long term, it's a great signing. City fans are about to sing his name tonight and they'll also sing the Slippy G song, won't they? 100%. Where were we that day? Palace away. Uh, yeah, quality uh, in the bar at Palace. I remember getting saturated in lager. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed it'll be a great night and we can uh, sing them songs basically with a 3 4 0 win, hopefully. Tell me where you come from for tonight's game. Hello, Cheesy. Nice to meet you at the end, at last. Uh, all the way from Israel. Exciting. Been in the West Ham game with the snow. Now, Villa Park for me, you know, 30 years ago, the 5 1 with the four goals of David White. 81, Paul Power, never been here in 81, but I was at that game with David White. Exciting, uh, hope for a good result today. I'm scared because they are at a good uh, moment now, Villa. Uh, they are exciting, good. I think our team uh, this year, uh, I don't know, I think it's, it's going to be the best team ever, City. I think, I think. But with all the rotation and with injury, uh, 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 need a little bit patience from the fans and uh, understanding and uh, good support. And maybe, maybe this year even the the big cup with the, you know, the big with the big ears, <laughs> gonna be City. How do you feel about Jack Grealish? I've been asking Villa and City fans about Jack Grealish. I don't think he's, he's going to be involved tonight, but still, he's a big talking point, isn't he? Yeah, he's a big talking point, you know, but uh, uh, I can understand his hair, you know, it's going little by little in City now. I think he's a, he's a good, good player. I need to wait a little bit. For today, it's for the fans, not for him. He's professional. If he comes for the, the sub, he needs to score. Don't worry, he's going to score. Following our fantastic win away on Saturday at Crystal Palace, ice the screen and check out this exclusive pitch side view. All the action. This is the very modest Lee Jackson. Remember on Saturday, Sunday, whenever it was against West Ham, and they were clearing the snow. This is the head groundsman. He's too modest to speak to me, he don't want to speak to me. But him and his team and all the people who were out there on the pitch clearing the pitch deserve all the credit in the world. I just wanted to know what he looks like. He is very, very modest. And by the way, he's a proper home and away fan as well, that's why he's here.
staff, I mean, I came down, worried when we came down, um, totally dominant, fantastic performance, a bit worried about the left side, Zinchenko and Ake, not been tried, never under pressure, great goal by Diaz, dominant football, I'm, I'm quite sure, I'll have to watch on TV myself, I've, I've, I've had just seen one of the best goals in the Premier League ever. He side-footed it from 20 yards into the top corner. It was a disgraceful goal. Absolute disgraceful goal. And I think, make sure you don't, sure don't cause it for 10 minutes and um, we'll get three points and we'll kick off from there. Thank you. City were absolutely awesome in the first half. Yeah, weren't I, think, I think, to be honest, Chief, I think we won it in the first half. I, and I don't know what Pet said to them at half time. Probably, I don't, know, I don't know what he said. But what, do you, what do you make of the reception that Grealish got? I thought overall he got he got a good good reception, but uh, sometimes obviously when a player like a boyhood player moves from a club like that, they're obviously going to be diehard fans. They obviously, don't agree with the transfer. I think a lot of the Villa fans still agree with how with the decision behind him the moving. So overall, I think we've got a good reception. But. I thought we uh, played really well sec first half. Came out slow second half. They got one back, but didn't really see him getting another one. They, they huffed and the puff, but we're just too much for them. We're too classy for them. So hard earned three points. The other two scraped wins, didn't they? So, we're still second, but we'll be all right. Have you seen a better goal than Bernardo's? Um, well, I've just said to me some before that the only goal that could probably top that is Aguero against QPR. That's got to be like the goal of the decade. That was unbelievable. Great pass from Jesus, and he's just he's just he's got to be worth three hundred million, hasn't he, in the transfer market? If Super Jack's a hundred, he's three hundred easy. But we'll win the league again. And we'll win the Champions League, we'll win the lot, don't you worry, Ian. It's starting to feel like that to me, the way they played in that first half. Right, we're getting back on that dreaded M6. <laughs> Cheers, pal. Great right, win. Shane Graham's come back for at the end just to show him up. Do him all you want, lads, 100 million. I know it's a cliche, but I think I'd call that a game of two halves. I thought City were phenomenal in the first half. Two goals, Ruben Diaz and that one by Bernardo were just amazing. Could have been more than that. Um, then in the second half, Villa stepped it up a little bit. City perhaps lost a little bit of the momentum and tempo. Early goal back and it was a little bit more nervous than it should have been perhaps in the second half. But um, Jack Grealish came on. Uh, I don't know if you can tell on the, the video that I shot from the City section, but there were boos from some of the Villa fans, lots of support from the City fans, he didn't have much involvement I suppose in the latter stages of the game, but he came on and Jack Grealish is a winner at Villa. So uh, there you go, uh, thanks very much to Timson Music Magpie and the RRG Group for sponsoring my uh, vlogs which are very much appreciated to all the people who take the time and trouble to, uh, to in some way contribute to the vlogs as well, it's very very much appreciated because I couldn't do it without them, without you watching and without the support of my sponsors. So thanks very much. On to Watford next at Vicarage Road at the weekend. Uh, so have a great week between now and then. It won't be long before the next one's happening. It's a 12.30 kickoff. So stay safe. And remember, isn't it great to be a blue?